2S. That is the spotlight of this week. We Thanks. have been waiting and we finally got them in. Uh, we got three of the five that we ordered um, and the other two have shipped. Thank God they didn't all come at the same time because that was an adventure <laughs> getting all of them on here. <laughs> We we had we had a plan that we could because uh, we had these three and a cart come in at the same time and we thought well we don't have to unload nothing we can well it didn't go nothing like we planned but we got it all home that afternoon so well so they put a yeah as a you lip on it well actually if you look here they took a lip off that lip is normally there and then you have this one here right. They deleted the lip up front, so now when you're going to put stuff on the front of your box, you're not hitting that lip the constantly. So I'm assuming with that lip being gone, they don't offer a hutch or a top box. They do anything? offer a hutch. Okay. Um, the hutches are shipping different. This is a starter box. They're they're, they're talking about it being, you know, a 2S being the the tech just getting into it that's right. outgrew their cart. Um, so it doesn't have all the available add-ons that the 4S and up have But for a starter box, this one's got a lot of features that I like the hutch being one of them mm -hmm. You can get into the box and the hutch That you could get into one of these four and you say a top drawer. So you got more room, you know, right? Um, but also the trim if you'll notice this has the Plastic trim here. Right. This has the aluminum so that looks a whole lot better. It's going to stand off a whole lot better. Um, now you can only get black on this one because okay. it is a starter box. You got to have some differences in the two because they look so much alike, even though they're not. I mean, you got a bigger drawer here opposed to the smaller drawer here. Now, all this was done in theory of this one getting, getting some changes or upgrades too. If right. you'll remember, we did it away with the, the 5S, 5S box. This one kind of got slid in underneath this one. So we believe that this one is fisting it, or we were told this one is fisting get changed as well. As you can see, they went away with the corner piece here too. Yeah. The key feature on that corner piece was for added strength in that area. Well, they have found out that there's ways to do that on the inside on the inside and stuff uh with with the strength here the, the way they got it so they were able to get rid of that which i think i know it's a small change but i think this looks so much cleaner yeah without this big sticking out piece here you know when it's colorful trim it looks good mm -hmm. when there's nothing you know i know this is colored but it's the same color as box when you have like, like on the mine, 6s you got yeah, that color that. trim it right. looks really good here not so much mm -hmm. so this looks really good to me it, they still kept the power and the power drawer I think that was important for them to do but well, I guess they're probably doing that to try to compete with some of the the store brands you know instead of a guy going buying a cobalt box or something like well that. and the price point on this is is, is there too um, so everybody in different areas is gonna have different price points but as far as different stores, this one competes a lot better than that one does. Well, can you say about what that price is on that box? Around four. Around four thousand. Yeah. So when you're talking about around six, mm -hmm. around four, and it all depends on how you buy right, right? So if you buy it on deal, it could be more, it could be less. You know, you never know. Around four ish. Uh, which, if you look it up on the Maco website right now, they got them at thirty nine ninety nine, I believe. So, like I said, around four, um, but which is great because some of our carts run 22, 23. Yeah, right. So the tech now can say, do I want to spend a 1700 extra dollars to go ahead and be in one mm -hmm. of these? What is that, about a 50 inch box or something? Yeah, it's actually, when we put it side by side, these were basically the exact same length. Uh, and height wise, it, would pretty, it, was, it was pretty freaking close to the same height. Uh, minus the the piece here, it made it look a little different. But as far as you know, room, it's still got the same pretty much depth here, and and it's, there's a lot of similarities. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just got deeper drawers, looks like. But you know, uh, 
honestly, and this is what I've been telling people, we put this on the truck. We do it Wednesday. We put this on the truck Wednesday. I would rather have this drawer than this drawer. And the reason I say that is the box that I unloaded that I kept at the house, it's hard to find when they have a bunch of drawers this size, mm -hmm. it's hard to find stuff that fit. See, I like this drawer to be my second drawer down. Yeah. Because I want my sockets up here and I want my wrenches in here. Yeah. And like, and I, I feel like in that box, you're wasting about two inches of depth because of that. Well, and I can see that, but that's, that's where your um, preference comes in. Mm -hmm. Because see, I want my sockets and my ratchets. I don't have as many ratchets as you do, but I want them together. I want them in the sun. That way, if I'm doing that, I can go to one drawer. So I guess that's just how you got your toolbox set up. See, but I got what? a bunch of ratchets, but I only use about four. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's like in my roll cart, everybody's like, man, you beat the snot out of these ratchets, don't you? I'm not, like at the meetup, people's like, man, you beat the crap out of these, like four or five. I said, that's all I ever use. Yeah, well see, and I had a problem like finding spots for like hammers or yeah. stuff like that and and just different like kits and stuff like that whereas i can put some cases in here i can't put them in that one so the, it really just goes how you want your box set up the only thing i have a negative complaint with on my matco box is my drawers aren't big enough for my pry bars that's why i had to hang them on the side yeah like, um, i wish matco would come out with a way inside one of the lockers that they could put like a pry bar pry holder, holder inside the locker. Well, we need to send that up. I mean, that you know that that would make sense. It's hard. Like I here, it don't matter. Like I can leave my shit laying on the floor, <laughs> and I yeah. ain't like nobody's gonna steal it, you know. But if you worked at a dealership, and you have say that big long Matco pry bar there, yeah. I mean, you done dropped a couple of bills on that Joker, you know, and. Yeah, and there's nowhere in this box at that one. I mean, don't it, nobody ever have sticky fingers. You know? Oh well. <laughs> so I've actually had a couple of shops this week that has dealt with it. So like it's, the only way you can store that in the box that I have is put it on top. Yeah. Or put it, you know, like the magnets on the side, like I have them, and yeah, like the next size you got over there, it won't even go in there. Yeah. Like you could put it in at an angle in one of the yeah. drawers, but then you've ate up your whole. And like those long extensions I got from me for bell housing bolts, they don't go in there. They won't go in the top drawer in one of the big ones? It's too long. But, yeah, I... Uh, they I, will I, at an angle. Yeah, I, I get that. Um, but if they could just figure out a way to... Like, if they could just have like a, you know, a four or six inch cubby hole the yeah. length of that locker, man, you could have all your pry bars in there and your long extensions and... Yeah. Stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Well, they they make these locking holders and stuff like that, but uh, pro the only thing about it is extensions, it won't lock. Now, on the pry bars where they flare out, it'll grab and it'll lock. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, it, they make those, but I get what you're saying. It would be nice, and that's something that we can send up. Like, that's They're the only looking. negative that I've seen on that box. Like, yeah. everything else is, like, the lockers are awesome. Y'all yeah. have the best lockers of any toolbox company. We really like them, uh, but yeah, I, we can we can send that up and see what they say. It may be something they can look into. We, we're always looking to make better, but yeah. So this is the one we're showing off. You know, if you're looking at a box and your dealer's got two S's in, give it a thought. It, just because they it got through around that it was a starter box. Or are they going to offer like upgrades to them for later? You think maybe offer lockers? And... I know they're. I know they've done the hutch. Um, if I if I was to say yes or no right now, it'd be just my opinion because they haven't said either way. Well, obviously, um, our opinion don't matter. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Um, well, it would be nice. Life it, back there, so. it would be nice for them too. I just don't know with them labeling it. If they stick with the, we want it to be just a starter box. Um, See, I think if they offer a locker, because here's my theory: you can put more stuff in a locker. Then you can in a hutch. Yeah, easy. well, it's, yeah. Cause it's just, those cases, yeah. are, especially with the way your lockers are, you can flip those shelves over, yeah. put all your cases in there, and you can pull the whole thing out, and you can get to your cases in the back. Like, that's the greatest design ever. Yeah. And everything's sold in cases. Yeah. So. This may have just, I mean, they definitely come out with a box, and they definitely come out. They told us at Expo the hutches that they had out were like a promo type deal you know we want you to see it we want you to go ahead and be able to order it
but you know this is we're still working and tweaking and stuff which i think they're supposed to start shipping pretty soon but um they may I, i'm not sure like i said i think it would be great to do that yeah because i know they're going to upgrade that box um maybe this year maybe first of next year um but when they do that that one's going to have a, a next level appeal that this one ain't going to have so I think they can they can do both, but it's really just to see what they're gonna do. Um, they've always they always even on the 4s when the 4s was the bottom box when you you know that was the entry level box I'll say they had all that stuff. So they probably are. It's probably just in the design. Well, I've heard rumors that one of the big three toolbox companies. Now this one's cool. You're gonna like this one. You need to pay attention. In the hutch, they added LED surround lights in it with a stereo, this Bluetooth so you can play your phone, and speakers and all that. And then their new lockers, when you open the door, the LED lights go around the door and the top inside of the locker. That so is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know when they're gonna come out, but I know for a fact there is a working prototype that they're doing right now, and they said that that stereo was killer. Said yeah. it was awesome. I don't know. So, that sounds pretty cool. You know, and that's the thing. Over the next... Matco needs to jump in there right now and start <laughs> developing that. That way they can be right you, there with them. You know, and the thing about it is, that's what it's going to be from the next several years. It's We've all kind of got to a point, and I'll say Snap-ons did the same thing. Snap-on, mm -hmm. Matco, Mac. Everybody kind of got comfortable where they was at. And we had, we kind of had it. We got stale for a little while. And now everybody's trying to... Well, I think when y'all drop the Revel X, is where everybody's like oh shit we, we gotta figure something out because yeah. like this box looks different it's yep. like it's designed different now they've added the shelf on the side well and they're and they're they're doing the top chest and stuff for those now so mm -hmm. you know that that added to that one so yeah that that's the thing for any tool company to be successful You've got to stay with the times. If you don't stay with the times, you're falling behind. And we'll, well, somebody was talking. I read a comment. They said, well, it's kind of stupid. They put that shelf on the side because if you put a locker on it, you can't use it. Well, not everybody adds a locker to Not everybody box, adds a locker. You know? And I, like me personally, I think that's a great addition, you know, so you can open it up, have your laptop there, and that way you don't have to move crap on the top. Yeah, and so the thing about that is, because when we went through, when we went to the class, they had one outside that you could in the the lobby that you could look at, and I thought the same thing. I was like, well, if you put a locker on that, you just lost that. Well, that's fine because some some of the features and benefits that you add to cars, you lose stuff as well. Oh, yeah. So that's just something that when you buy that, if that drawer was your selling point, if that's what made you buy you don't put a locker that, that Ferrari of a box, you don't put a locker there. <laughs> but if it if it was just a nice upgrade that you kind of liked but never used, put a locker See, on it. See, that's me. If I bought, let's say <clears throat> Matco comes out with a three-bay Revel X top, and I'm, you know, you throw the smooth salesman pitch on me and get me to, to switch, <laughs> right? When I Matco comes out with a three bay Revel X top, and I'm, you know, you throw the smooth salesman pitch on me and get me to, to switch, <laughs> right? What I would do is when I bought that box, I'd take all the paperwork and I'd put it in that drawer, like the date it was bought and all that crap. And when I closed it and we hung the locker on it, that'd be it. Yeah. That'd be there. So that, that's that's the key to that. How many times, you know, that locker looks cool, but how, how many times are you, are you going to use it, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't use the drawer, how many times? You know, that, that would be my selling point. If I bought it and I was kind of iffy, well, fine. For six months to a year, let's see how long I use that drawer. And most of the time, you're going to start using it, and then it's, the usage is going to start falling off. It's like anything else we buy. Mm -hmm. It's got this cool feature that we really, really like, but then we find out maybe it wasn't as so important as what I thought. But to somebody, it will be yeah. because they don't want their laptop up front to where it gets knocked off because you're constantly coming and grabbing. So if like you're if running, I wasn't going to put a locker on it, yeah. that would, I, that's the awesome feature. You know, yeah. and there's a lot of guys that don't want or maybe just want one locker. Yeah. And I think it's a cool feature and it looks really cool. Too. Well, you also got to think about cost. The cost of that box is a lot more. So the cost of the lockers is a lot more. The cost of the add-on hutch is a lot more. I've seen people put lockers on without hutches, and I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. Um, so by the time you put the hutch on, and then you start putting the lockers on, your price is way on up there. 
if you're able to do it all at one time, good for you. I wouldn't be able to do that. So I'd get to use that drawer for several years before I went ahead and put the, the, the lockers on anyway. Um, so See, it, I can't do that. I'd rather do it all at once well, and not do it, it at all. If you can do that, that's Because you great. know what will happen. Well, you'll put it off. Because, no, it off. this is what will happen. Because this is my luck, and I've got terrible luck, as you know, with my Milwaukee and some of the other stuff I've had. I'd be like, all right, when I get the box paid for, I'm going to add the top box. Yeah, the, the the top box. Yeah. Well, then I'll add the top box. I mean, when I get it paid for, I'm going to add the lockers. So now you're looking at probably eight years in, right? Yeah. Then I I'm going to come on going. the truck, and Matt and Michael is going to be like, "Man, they don't even offer that blue trim." <laughs> and then I'm going. It's going to be bad. Yeah, I can see that. And, and they and they do. And they do of, that because yeah. I know people. Prime example, flat rate master. He bought that black hammered box. Yeah. Well, when he got ready to add the top. They ain't offer it no more. Well, and I just saw the other day where they're fixing to do away with something. They're, they did away with something, a color or a box or something. So it, it does. Every company does it. They wait till the color is not selling so well when it don't make sense to keep it and they get rid of it. So that's a really good point. Well, what if your paint is a little different color? Like that would drive me nuts. Yeah. Like if the blue didn't match the blue or the yeah. white was a different shade, like it drive me insane. That's definitely, that. yeah, I can see. Like I was ready to beat my face against the pavement in there on the crack of that snap-on box. <laughs> Could you imagine like if y'all, if we're eight years into paying on a box and the lockers don't match? Well, see, the good thing about Woo. yours is it's all together. But yeah. yeah, I know, and see, that was the thing when we, because I remember every step of figuring out your box. Um, mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many people I talked to about the gap. Hey, measure the gap. See how big it is. <laughs> if it ain't big enough. Well, I know when we... we talked about it that day, it was like 45 minutes later, Michael would come back and he goes, all right, it's one quarter of an inch. Yeah. That's it. One quarter inch. Yeah. And he said, I will, if you're not happy with that, I will have a piece made and have it painted and we'll put it in there. <laughs> like I done got the approval to do all that. Like I was, we were going to come up with something. And I was to like, make man, I work. can live with a quarter inch, but when you stick a two by four in there, come <laughs> on now. But what didn't make any sense about that snap on box? The back was flush. Yeah. Like what kind of idiot goes, you know, the back's going to be against the wall. Let's make it flush in the side that everybody sees. Let's leave this big old horrendous gap in here that looks terrible. Like, See, who thought I, that was a good idea? So here's the thing on that. And that goes, and this is going to go for every tool manufacturer. There's always somebody that, oh, that's not that big of a deal. Ah, it's not that big of a deal. And they don't realize that that's a huge deal. Like, mm -hmm. we're used, technicians are used to looking at gaps on fenders. They're used to looking at, you know, they're using measurement tools to measure down to whatever smallest measurement there is like we're used to paying the finest mm -hmm. detail hopefully you're paying the finest details if you're rebuilding a motor and you're just ah that's good enough it's close enough yeah, yeah that's, don't that don't work you right. know so that's what i think all tool businesses need to stay focused on is how much we pay attention to the details yeah because when a new tool comes out the first thing i do is i read everything about that tool but then i start trying to figure out okay what could have been what's the one thing that could have been better about this tool you know mm -hmm. And normally there is something that could be better about that tool. And when you get to talking to them, they're like, yeah, we thought about that, but that would sacrifice this. So then you have to start weighing that, that's right. fine. But when it comes to like gaps and stuff on toolboxes, you need to be as close as possible to touching because that's something well, their, that everybody's their looking for. reasoning behind it when we talked to them was we, we put it on the bottom so it'd be stronger. Okay, so I measured how tall it was. It was like an inch and three quarter. I pulled the bottom drawer out, and guess how much room there was from the bottom of that box to the bottom of that drawer? Two and a half inches. Now, I'm not the smartest guy, but if you drop that bottom all the way down, that still gives you the inch and three quarter you need, plus the two and a half inches to the bottom of the drawer. Yeah. Like, I, I don't design toolboxes, but they could have put that bracing inside, and it would have cured that problem. Yeah. But... Well, I ain't got to worry about it no more. I got one that's built right, that looks right, that fits right, and yeah. Well, and that's, that's what I, and that's what I was saying. Just paying attention to the details. Somewhere, somebody thought that that wasn't mm -hmm. that big of a deal. You know, ah, that's not that big of a deal. It turns into a big deal real fast. Big deal. It was um, a very expensive, very expensive ordeal. Yeah. To change. <laughs> well, and, <laughs> but and I, I don't I, ever have to worry about no gaps. Anymore. Yeah. No, you don't have to worry about. The it. Only gaps is between the bottom and the 
ground where the wheels are. And yeah. that's supposed to be there. <laughs> so we're good. So, well, and that's like, we'll, we'll give an example of Maco. There's a couple, like the prop, the, the fill of the pry bar. Ah, it's not that big, much of a difference. It isn't much of a difference. And some people just can't get over the, the way the handles feel different. Mm -hmm. But also what I'm starting to hear now is the batteries on our impacts. They're fine with the impact, electric oh, impacts. God. They're fine. Here we go with batteries. Well, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. This is not it's so bad. Um, they're fine with the batteries. They're fine with the, well, I say they're fine with the batteries. They're fine with the gun. They're fine with the torque. But they want the amp hours of the batteries to be more, right? Yeah. So that's something that when we asked Michael about it, it's like, oh, well, we're looking into it. How big of a deal is it? It's a big deal. Like yeah, that's it's yeah. a big deal. So you know, you you think, well, we up the torque, that should that should be better, right? Well, yeah, up in the torque's great. But it eats the batteries up more. Right. So as we continue to expand the torque, we've got to expand the battery. So and they are mm -hmm. looking into it. I will say that they've told us they're looking into it. Uh, but that's just one more thing about. You know, when you do this, it does a chain yeah, reaction. It's always something else. So it's like lifting a vehicle. Everybody's like, I don't understand why lifting a vehicle and putting those bigger wheels and tires on it made my gas mileage go down. Well, the biggest thing you is know, it's just, like an impact, increasing the torque, but not increasing the battery. Yeah. Like, well, and yeah, that's dogs. exactly. But also, in the same as far as that goes, they talk about wear. You know. Well, what do you mean that I uh, put these on and the tires wear, or mm -hmm. you know my axles are going out more, rack and pinion started leaking? Well, it's because of what you did, right? Well, it hasn't started happening yet, but much more torque in these impacts, you're probably going to start seeing the batteries going bad quicker. Yeah. Because it's constant draining and refill, draining and refill. It's a lot refill. higher usage on Right. Yeah. So it hasn't started happening yet, and so hopefully they. They do go along with what they're wanting to do and, and up the amperage, and we'll see, you know, but um, right now the battery life on those is good. The charge time's good. So we've got a little bit of time. You know, we're not in a oh crap moment to where it's not working out, but that's that goes with that. You've got to be thinking about it. you got to be paying attention to the details, so. Well, that's cool. Now, those are nice boxes. I'm proud they're doing that to, you know, get people into them. So. Yep. Well, I want to talk about the Mrs. Sunglasses because I know somebody else has noticed them besides me. <laughs> no. And they're cool. Michael it, makes fun of them. I don't like them. He don't like them at all. I thought you had them on your head upside down. No, it's the... That's the style. I thought they did. I thought you had them flipped upside <laughs> down. I don't wear them like y'all do. I'm my head. Yeah, I... They're cool colors, though. They'll be somebody need to get their. They stand and, and they actually they they're not that bad now. But when they first come in, I was like, I don't know about those. So it's one of the things you have to acquire a taste for. I get see they're fully customized. Like I customize these myself. So well, I like colors. And she ordered those before the what is it, the Sutros or whatever come out. Yeah. See, I want those. Uh, so you're like the 80s baby, but you're not an 80s baby. I saw. Because you like those 80s colors and stuff, but. I saw the other day. You're a way later model. Let me, <laughs> you know? let me see if I can look up the email. I think I saw the other day where they're actually going to be doing an 80s t shirt coming out. And I got to figure out how many I'm going to order, but I, I believe I saw that. I may have seen that wrong. Well, like but they had a, a poll on Instagram a while back. Where they was voting for the design, so that's probably what it is. They're I probably. think it is because uh, I think they went with the design that went the, the most. But I'm pretty sure we're getting ready to be able to pre-order that, and, and I'll mess it up. I'll order either too many or not enough or something. But uh, I know we ordered some shirts while they're at Expo. They're supposed to be here now, but they wasn't the '80s design. Um, checking a quick email and see. Yeah, so they are going to do the. It's going to be a Miami Sunset T-shirt. Um, I, I guess that's the one that won. And, and once I can get a picture of it that ain't got the, the proprietary stuff around yeah. it, I'll, I'll post. I'll have her post it. But, okay. Cool. Um, yeah. They, so they are going to do that '80s, which you know they they sent out that uh, poll where they had like creepers and boxes mm -hmm. and or not boxes but carts. I really hope to see some of that come yeah, out. Yeah, I do too. Because uh, cool. I had a lot of people that wanted that just off of that. So you know that that goes. What's I don't know. 
<laughs> I could care less about it. I mean, it, it looks cool to me, but I, you know, I don't I like know that I would wear it, right? I like it. So. All right, guys, like always, thanks for hanging out with us today, and hopefully y'all learned something new about the new 2S from Metco. If you guys are looking to get in a box, there you go. Way cheaper alternatives for you. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. And if you're not subscribed, you take your finger and you press that button. You guys have a great weekend, and we will catch you later. See ya.